I only had the one. It's now in the Smithsonian. Yeah, they had many when we were shooting the show because I destroy them. <laughs> you know, we were so active. Yeah. It's also the original bottle is back at the Smithsonian. They were liquor bottles. They broke all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Now, from Funko Hollywood, it's time for Pop Talk. Pop Talk! Hey everybody, it's your pal fun maker Mike, back for another episode of Pop Talk here with my friend and yours. Get ready, you know her from I Dream of Jeannie, Barbara Eden. My pleasure to be here. So I'm gonna ask you some questions, and while we do, I'm gonna ask you to build a pop from these pieces here. It can be anything you want, Barbara. It can oh. be you or Ultra Eager You or, or just whatever you feel ah, like building. The dog. Yeah, it's a like, little. Oh, that's adorable. As you know, Barbara, we're a collectibles company. Yes. Funco. Do you collect anything yourself? I do. Elephants. Really? Unfortunately, I have too many, my husband says. Yeah. We have them in boxes because I admire elephants in general for their family connections and how they take care of each other and how intelligent they are. In 2013, how did it feel to wear the costume again after so many years? Scary. Yeah? Scary. That was in Vienna for the, uh, the Life Ball with uh, President Clinton and, uh, and they asked me if I would be the uh, mistress of ceremonies <laughs> for the big thing. And I said, sure. But uh, I said, you know, you have to have a, an age correct costume. I won't wear the pink thing. And they said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We'll fix this costume and it'll be wonderful. And as I was packing, my friend, Shake, said, Barbara, are you going to take your costume? And I said, no, I'm not going to wear it. I just think that's a keepsake, you know. And she said, take it. And she put it in my suitcase. Thank God. <laughs> because uh, when I got to New York for the fitting, for the costume that they did, it was huge. It, they would never have made it in time. It was, it was enormous. So I, I put mine on and I said, okay, what do you think of this? <laughs> you know, and they said, it's fine. You know, the collector inside of me, when you start bringing up, was that the original costume? They let, did, did you have a lot of them or you just had the one? I only had the one. It's now in the Smithsonian, but, uh, yeah, they had many when we were shooting the show because uh, I destroy them. <laughs> you yeah. know, we were so active. Yeah, they had to have a lot of them. How about how about the bottle? How many of those did you? Oh. Are, do you have one of those? It's also the original bottle is back at the Smithsonian. They had many bottles. You yeah. know, they were uh, they were liquor bottles. They were Christmas uh, liquor bottles, <laughs> and they hand painted them and did all kinds of awful things to those bottles. They broke all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> you had a nightclub act after I Dream of Jeannie? Did oh, during, during. During? Yeah. Where was that? Vegas. I headlined in Vegas for like five years. Wow. That was in between. We'd, we'd shoot, you know, for one season, and then you'd have a couple of months off. I opened the MGM Grand mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Shecky Green. <laughs> I, I worked do about five different hotels at that time. Did you always want to perform? Was that always kind of in your blood? Like you felt like this is what I want to do? I always wanted to sing. Oh, okay. I, uh, the singing came first. Light the lights. And uh, I grew up with uh, Gilbert and Sullivan and opera. And, mm -hmm. and so I was studying opera at the uh, conservatory. Uh, but then I, of course, turned to pop like you did <laughs> to, uh, with the bands. You've seen the evolution of film and television. How do you feel? I think it's great. Really? You know, everything grows, everything changes. No, they have wonderful, wonderful lighting yeah. <laughs> and, and wonderful technical things now that they didn't used to have. The actors are always good, you know. It's the technical part of it that's so wonderful now. What, what advice would you give to younger people that wanted to follow in your footsteps or wanted to get into entertainment? Be true to yourself. That's the, I guess that axiom is for everyone. No matter what business you're in, you, you be true to yourself. For people in our field or in my field, uh, I would say be prepared. You don't just think because you can talk, you can act. You can't. You want to do more than one character. 
You want to be able to understand it, understand other people. I was very lucky, I think, that I had uh, an ace in my little purse that I could sing and go to Vegas and headline while I was doing television, after I had done a lot of movies. Uh, but I think it's, it's wonderful if you can do everything. But be prepared for whatever job you have. I know, speaking of movies, you were in an Elvis movie. Yes. Flaming Star. Yes. Well, can, tell us a little bit about that one. That was, I think, the only movie that Elvis did that he got wonderful reviews. When I was little, I liked you a lot. I didn't know. It was a wonderful story. It was a Western. Um, he didn't get the girl, and he didn't sing. And it didn't make any money. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a good, good movie, and people like it today. He was, uh, and he was a joy to work with. What a, what a lovely, lovely man. You know, I'd come on the set and he'd bring a chair over. You know, actors don't do that when, right. when you're working. So there she is. There she is, yeah. Now see, now people, oh, this is what I tell you, they all want me to sign it here. Yeah. And I will if they want me to but I know it doesn't stay on that plastic. So it's better to either do it back here. Right. Or on the top. Uh-huh. Or on the sides. So what's it like being Pop? Do you, do you, are you happy about it? Or do I you, love her. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'd love her. How would you like to play rapid fire fun? What's that? I'm gonna ask you questions and you're gonna rattle them off as fast as you can, the answers. Oh. I don't know if I'll rattle them off, but okay. All right, Barbara, here we go. Okay, maybe I'll do this one. Favorite movie of all time? Um, Lawrence of Arabia. Hmm. Okay. Dum, 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 you know. Favorite cartoon growing up as a kid? Bambi. Oh. I cried a lot at Bambi, but I like Bambi, yes. Favorite superhero and why? Superman, of course. Here's one for you. Name a place in the world that you haven't, you've never been, but you'd love to go to. That's a toughie, because my husband and I like to travel. I'd love to go back to Egypt. Hmm. Because it's like a living museum. Right. It's just fabulous. Do you remember your first car ever? Oh, indeed I do. When I came down here to LA, being from San Francisco, you don't need a car. I didn't know how to drive. Right. I take streetcars everywhere in San Francisco. And uh, I had to learn how to drive. And then a boyfriend found a car for me. It was really an antique, and I wish I had it to this day. 1949 Buick. It was the prettiest car you've ever seen in your whole life. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Did What did you build there? What did I build? Right. Oh, I, I've got a cute little girl. All right. I like her. What are you going to name her? Ginger. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Barbara, for being on the show today. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate it. I, I like her. I said, stand up straight. All right, folks. Go. Well, that wraps up another edition of Pop Talk here with Barbara <laughs> Eden. Got a little pet.